Hey everybody, Asher here, back with more Star Sector, where we are going to just add something in post-production real quick. You can see here a picture of what happened at the end of the fight here, specifically slamming home the planet. Let's go back to live now. What we have is Kalabak, and long story short, it was a massacre. This is something where it should not have taken nearly this fast for us to get there. I said taken. Look, we have six days before the Vengeance fleet launches from Broador. Now, granted, we also have an invasion fleet coming from uh, as Alizan, but they're going both for Shadow Yards and us. Very interestingly, they're sending a strong fleet there. They're sending a very strong fleet here. So that is going to be fun and kind of dictate what I do next because I have 86 days. I'm kind of on a clock. I know popular convention is take out the um, Persian League or the hegemony and those are things that i am going to be taking out because we do need to take out the garbage eventually but that garbage starts with cyanation who's trying to punch us that includes taking mikhail's world back they also have another colony randomly up here they always like to settle like to the east or some oh who settled down here oh that's that's a survey mission for them well screw them um i don't care as much about sumatra right now i do have to eventually take it out to actually eliminate them as a faction so my bigger thing is which one are they launching shit from and for some reason it's down here plus i get to punch brighton in the face while i'm down there which which is nice but just to go back to the invasion screen one more time what's the lesson here the lesson is don't let the ai do it for you um the ai made some dumb moves there is a loot button here i am not going to loot it because first off it's a corrupted nana forge and secondly, we do have a quest that we've gotten about half value here, but still, that's a nice chunk of money. I did check off camera. I can start checking the uh, stuff again without it crashing. Hopefully, knock on the desk here. Oh, boy. But we do have some business to take care of before we do the business here. We need to repair our ships, which is nice. We can manage the colony. Whoops, it's a stability zero. And we do have some things in storage, such as these Marines. Um, I forget who said it in the Discord, but you are absolutely right. I didn't realize how big of a number 4, 000, losing 4,000 Marines kind of turned into. So we're going to do this, and we're going to cheese it just a little bit here. Because throwing stuff back in the resource stockpiles is not really going to help the colony very much. Even if I can turn on using stockpiles here. Um, the game, I, th I don't know what the game does with it, but the stockpiles kind of disappear. By the way, Underground Network, that's a really interesting sub-mod that I hadn't seen before. For um, I forget what mod, it's one of the planetary mods. I, I should know, I should know by now, and I should know offhand. But anyway, we're here. I'm not going to be in charge of this for much longer. We're going to pass it on, but I want to look at the fleet real quick. First off, did confirm there are two Remnant Tachyon Lances on the uh, Grim Beamer here this this is known it was known before um also um while we're here we don't have the money for it yet but here's the star skipper it only cost 1.4 million credits to repair but we do have derelict contingents so we could just continue to let this it's it's legendary we can't repair a legendary ship can we we, we can't but we can't uh, I do need to give Backstreet a... Uh, oh my god, Backstreet's back did not actually take any hull damage. Anyway, times three doesn't work anymore. Backstreet's back, ah, uh, because, well... You saw the last fight where it got exploded by um, mines out of the sky. And I really don't know if that was... Oh, oh my god, it's legendary too. Ah, uh, that's hilarious. These are all legendary glimmers. They die all the time. Du jour is legendary. Just, just, what the hell, game? I love it, but I don't understand it. Anyway, we're going to go to the comm directory here. We're going to go... Well, no, we're not. We're not going to do it this way. We are going to do it through the quest mission just so I don't fuck it up. And we're going to do this because I accidentally did it the other way. Don't want to debark here. We just have a transfer button right here. Cash money. They actually paid me more than they originally were going to. So that's, that's a plus. But now that we're here... It's their market. And what I could do is throw a bunch of stuff on the black market, but I really don't want to because I don't want to piss them off and I don't want to lower stability any more than I already have. So what we're going to do instead is we're just going to sell them all of the things that we had here. And we do have plenty of crew, which is good. And I am, I am reminded of one more thing that I forgot to do. So you'll get this and this. You get all the food I'm selling to you. Like I said, I don't care about 
the money here, I do care about giving them excess here, especially excess food. Um, we do have some other LPCs and stuff. My, my dragon's horde is getting pretty, pretty heavy here. I do actually want to buy this stuff since we have some money. And we do want to buy this stuff since we have some money. And we do want to buy this stuff since we have some money. Um, how are we doing on crew? Pretty good on crew. How are we doing on marines? They don't have too many marines for some reason. I do love that the military-wise, we can buy some weapons. Oh man, I actually did not see that we had some heavy polarizers available. I don't know if I want them right now. I guess I could always pick them up for a rainy day. So we got we got some money. Let's just let's just get it now. We don't usually get Shadow Yard's weapons because we don't kill Shadow Yard ships. So it is nice to see some of the stuff here. We'll just we'll just take that money and run. Other thing here, very important, forgot to do it here. I said before, well, why can't we add augmented field drives? That's that's the wrong button. Augmented field drives to this. We had to be docked. Apparently the dock wasn't good enough. So now increase burn by two. Hopefully that's good enough. So we're going to speed run today. And what are we going to speed run, pray tell? We have another Cyanation planet down here. It is a military installation. They are trying to launch shit at us. Let's check and make sure we didn't leave anything here. Because we got a bunch of tiny patrols responding to the invasion. I bet you are. It's a Shadow Yards planet now. So y'all really shouldn't care about it anymore, right? So our goal is to get down here before the Vengeance fleet comes. Hey look, an incursion in the Green system has failed without your intervention. That was from, oh god, uh, what are they called? It's not the Pomed, it's the Dictat. They expeditioned and failed. That's, that's just how it goes. That's why I have all the defenses that I do have here. So here is their system. I'm going to ram, ram an asteroid real quick. And they don't have a lot of defenses here, so Broadworth Station. The theory that I got in the um, Discord was that if I take out this station, we will actually, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, stop the Vengeance Fleet. So I want to test that theory. Yeah, once again, you guys are, you guys are jerks. All right, so for some reason there's an arrow pointing from there to here. I'm not, I'm not going to ask questions. All right. Let's just, let's just punch a station in the face. Um, at least two months. That's longer than I expected. Before you go here, let's view the colony real quick. Once again, not a bad place. Once again, accessible sub-ice bedrock. They got some stuff here. Their defenses are not nearly as high. I may not need to carpet bomb them this time. That'd be nice. Because um, I need the fuel if I'm going to be launching myself back out into the sticks. Uh, we could launch a raid... Yeah, their, their defenses are super low, and mine are super high, and they have ship equipment, which I don't care about. So yeah, we're going to just engage the battle station. Cool, and we are going to do staggered deployment this time, um, because we're fans of making things work. We'll do, we'll do these three first. And we're going to send you over here. We're going to send you... Straight in the middle. I'm going to send you over here. And let y'all go for a minute. Now it's interesting with um, space stations and stuff like that because sometimes the staggered deployment can really screw you over depending on the fight. Like, I think back to some of the event battles where everybody just starts on the screen all at once. Uh, spoiler alert, but like Dorito fights for instance. Um, staggered deployment may not be as good of an idea there, but here for a space station where it's kind of a known entity and we want to make sure people can fire, it's fine. I'll just do heavy escorts all around. I can't even talk. Although this will be interesting because maybe my heavy escorts will get in the way. I should probably unpause. So, incoming. There I am. Although I do want to take a check a little bit closer here and see how our frontline engagement is going here. So gotta speed it up here. Let's watch it. Let's watch it from the snowstorm's perspective. So that's a lot of missiles. Definitely a good start. That is a very killable station. That's not nearly as scary as the last one. But you can see already our staggered deployment only does so much when we have uh, big shit coming in over here. So. 
Got to play the old game of where is where is my ship and is it in the direct line of fire of the space station? The answer is maybe. Oh wow, actually the Neiman line right now is taking is taking that. I don't remember if I actually changed the name of that ship. I meant to. That was a that was a bad shot that turned into a good shot. It was about to be a good shot turned into a bad shot. But yeah, this is this is what we run into sometimes is that um, everybody else catches up and then suddenly. Our big guns need to get aligned, so I guess I could have been a little more patient and let them actually engage because uh, Rock Forehead wants to give, or Paper Plate Face Guy wants to give the space station a uh, bear hug. So I'm trying to do my thing again here where I fire at the guns that are actually firing on me, but instead I have to dodge some missiles. Alright. Okay, that was terrible. Yeah, we have we have lots of shit coming around. And look at that. I love the margin call. The the pilot is just so aggressive. And the ship has such an aggressive aggressive. I can't talk. I can talk. I'm just talking like I'm southern here. So it has a very aggressive profile. And you know what that means. You means that you do not want to fuck with its shit here. There we go. That that kills the space station right there. As a full salvo of now that's firing in my backside. I'm suddenly in a position that I don't want to be in here. And this could be a little problematic because I don't know if I can turn. For some reason, my entire hull is on fire. There we go. Don't know what that's about. Probably need to get that checked out at some point in the maintenance bay. Okay, wow, I thought I was actually going to hit that shot for a second, so... Station's down, that's a plus. Oh, it's a DK, DKP minus. Did I get this hit in? Yes. So, this remember, this ship is just a destroyer. The Project Kazmir is a very strong weapon. But I am having to punch above my own weight here. Alright. So, hopefully we can do that. Can I steal the margin call's kill? No, I actually managed to somehow thread the needle and miss both ships. If I were as good at this game as I am as good at missing, then maybe, I don't know. There's something clever that could happen there. So you're actually going to get in retreat range in time. Boo. All right. So speed run taking over a planet. Can we do it before... Well, did we just cancel it out here? I feel like I'd see something up here. Um, consider ship recovery. No. Pick through the wreckage. Wait, no. Psy Nation hates us. So, I'm not seeing anything that says that stuff's recalled. Okay, well, let's do an invasion. I mean, do I want to bomb it out? You know what? Let's let's do let's play it safe. Or no, we have. I guess my first question is how much time do I have? Psy Nation is um, that's not what I want. How long until Psy Nation launches a Vengeance Fleet? There's a surface battle. So many notifications. Launching from Bradore in three days. Let's go now. We don't have time to bomb it out. If we're going to pass this planet on to somebody else, then we should be able to take it. So, invasion. Yeah, let's see here. We should be able to do this. Okay, tactical bombardment. So, we lost a little bit of fuel. Military options. Invade. Okay, that's, that's probably better. I mean, I hate... I just want to make sure that I can get this in because if I get a Vengeance Fleet to pop out of here... While that's going, now we have a second invasion. No, no, no. Where's our Where's our combat here? Market transfer. I'm I'm driving myself crazy here. All right, so we're here. Market transferred. Surface battle. Okay, now why do we have all of these here now? And okay, it looks like the bombing was the right move. So we're just gonna put two groups on everybody here. I know technically I could edit through this, but we're just going to talk through it because, like I said, this is a system that is definitely interesting on paper, but in practice the AI 
doesn't really have enough tools to make it interesting. So it just turns out, it kind of turns into a game of whack-a-mole. Where does the AI move their units around? And that's literally how I ended up taking the other planet so fast, is that the AI massed all on one area. So what I ended up doing was leaving that area. And that's where, if, and that's where you know what, there may be a balance consideration for future runs that I force the, um, um, the AI to control my units when I try to do invasions because uh, it does it way worse than if a person does it. But that's kind of the contrapositive of what I'm talking about here, which is one of the reasons that the system is uh, boring to engage with is because of how many clicks you see that I have to do here. It's like five clicks per each of these, so that was um, 50 clicks just to talk through that. Just to get here, and then when the AI for it is kind of dumb as rocks, I mean, this is, this is gonna be a lopsided battle anyway. So we're we're just gonna sit here for a second. Raise relations between Desalt and Pomad's success. That's nice. All right, so one turn here. Let's see what we got. Yeah, they're dead. In fact, I may deploy a third unit just on that last one. Okay, and see that's one of the problems here is that we have to constantly scroll back up and down. That's fuel production that for some reason has more. Why are y'all why are y'all protecting the fuel? It's are y'all just trying to run away now? Okay, so there's 42 more supplies that we probably don't need. Ship recovery, no. Okay, and interesting that we don't have any response fleets coming from here. Okay, failed to assemble. So we actually have to take the market to do that. But that was a um, fast fight. Everyone really liked that, which is nice. Uh, the Pomed, who is... I want to check this one more time. I know we've been having to babysit um, alliances and stuff. and But I'm going to pass this over to Desalt. Because we can't actually throw prisoners at them. So let's check here real quick. We got to repair our ship first. Manage the colony. Once again, zero stability, 50 defenses. It's all very nice. We have some very experienced marines, which is fantastic, except for the fact that I'm going to... Okay, I'm, at, I'm way over cap because I took a bunch of ore, but one of the things that I'm going to have to deal with in just a minute is... Um, what, was I, what was I saying here? Yeah, we, we're losing marines just a little bit as time goes on here, just because we do have some losses. So even though those are good... We also have, what's what's the word I'm looking for? Marines that are being produced in a place at home, which we haven't even been able to get to some of the home colony inputs here. We have an officer. I don't have any more space in the officer cap here. Um, we're gonna transfer this to another faction. I know some people have said desalt, screw them, but oh my God. So, transfer complete. Goodbye, Chief. Broadar is now possession of the Salt Mekian. I'm glad it's just a matter of swiping and turning over papers. One of the better aspects of the internet in the future, I guess, is just, hey, you can send a whole planet via email. Okay, so, once again, this may be a little exploity. I don't care. We're how far into the save. So, we're just gonna try to build up stability by giving them excess stuff. I honestly don't know if that's really how... The whole stability thing works. I should know by now, but I don't really know. But we're going to do this. Um, I can buy these things too. Buy you all. Once again, we're good on crew. And once again, they don't have a lot of stuff available. So let's check and see our resources here. We have two planets. Oh, hang on. Special functions is invite to Shadow Immortalis. Hooray, they're back. We were already the largest alliance here. I could leave the alliance and be like, you guys have fun. Um, but yeah, we are... We want to have a big tent here, and that big tent involves knocking down somebody else's tent. So normally, I'd be going after McCall's world next. But this is, this is too good of a target. And we have plenty of fuel to get over there. We have plenty of supplies. We should be able to fly a lot faster. Oh, it looks like a... Legio took took somebody else over here. So this is good. I'd love to get somebody to take on McCall's world. 
but I'll have to come back to it later. Maybe we'll get another um, thing for it. Also, we have some interesting bounties that are around, including a lot of system bounties for over here that I don't really care about. And then there's the other places. But once again, if we look at our um, income, money is not an issue. We have a tiny bit of unpaid debt. Remember when that had a thousand uh, times 1,000 and that was our debt? Yeah, I, I don't. That never happened. All right, so we're here. And we are just going to speed through this. We are going to check that gate because it's an inactive gate. We're still trying to be responsible. And um, I guess we can turn back on our beacon in just a minute. I mean, are they really are they really going to know it's us or not us? Don't tell me that they're going to try to aggress us in our sovereign gate. Uh, we can't travel through the gate, but we can activate the gate. Because we have the Janus device that is part of what we get at the beginning of uh, having a world set out like this. Okay, City of Brass, that's not what we want. Ouroboros Orbital Station, don't really need it. But yeah, with the uh, shuffled world map or sector map, it disables the whole story quest line. So you get the Janus device at the very beginning. Um, interesting. Gonna ignore. I have how many days before Cyanation decides to do Cyanation things? 75 days to play offense. You know, let's look at my colony real quick. Because there was some arguing between the Reuters and stuff here. And my Reuter, my Union HQ. It doesn't say whether it's active or not. Are we actually hostile with the Reuters right now? We're definitely hostile with the hegemony. No, they're just suspicious with us, so it may it may work out. Once I start punching the hegemony, they're gonna have to make a choice. So invasion failed, that's nice. Rebellion and Shero. Okay. What are you? You're just a regular old patrol. What are you? Regular old patrol. Resupply convoy, recreational drugs, and harvested organs to Nug. It actually looks like something I could probably make some solid money on stealing, but I have... Interesting. Don't want to don't wanna knock them back, but... They are really trying to stay undetected in the nebula. That's for sure. Now, I did get a question before about if I've gone after the uh, phase uh, cruiser or capital ship that's over here. I know where the spot is for the black site. I've flown past it a few times, and even though the maps are shuffled, it still does appear in the map. Once again, there's just no quest for it. Although, if you know where it is, you can get it. You can sequence break. And as long as you can win the fight, you can get it anytime the internet. Ooh. Ceasefire from HMI. Sure. Oh, they're no longer hostile? Well, we're doing this anyway, so... We're all, I mean, we're already down here. We've already used the fuel. I should have checked my diplomacy better, because normally I hate HMI a lot. But... Maybe this means they won't expect me to do this, and I will fight with dishonor. Maybe we just punch Brighton first. I think, I think that's a solid plan. Let's punch Brighton first. Because they're both size 4. They're both terrible planets. Alright. We haven't, we haven't said anything to Brighton in a while. And they're supposed to be like my Bloodsworn enemies that we hate throughout the entire run. And then we hated them so much they turned into an irrelevant faction. So that's fun. And we have... Um, the Ludic Church that are still fighting things. It's very exciting. Well, let's go say hello to this planet. And apparently at low speeds. So these... Okay, so why is Brighton hostile to us? I guess they've... I guess they never really stopped. Who are you... Okay, I should know. I should know my entangling alliances by now. Brighton is allied. See, there's the Western Axis. There's us. 
Diable and Tri Attack. Reparations and Legio. Now that's a brutal combo here. HMI and Psy. You know, it's funny. I'm not seeing Brighton allied with anybody. So. If you're, if you're just hostile with us because you're mad at us, it's fine. But see, look, our monthly income is really good now. As long as we don't do, like, system draws and stuff, our income's only going to go higher here as we get some more size 6 colonies. So that's great. So let's, um, let's say hey to Brighton here. They already hate us. They apparently don't mind trading with us, but they do hate us. We are not going to buy storage on the planet we're about to take. That's 94 defenses. Like, what are what are what is your plan here? Any interesting Brighton ships? Not really, not really. Um, any sort of weird like defensive things? Well, okay, this has ultra rich ore and extreme tectonic activity, so 250. But it's a really good mining colony. So you know how other AI factions send expeditions and stuff? We're just going to expedition this. If we launch a raid, 98% chance of success. We could get blueprints from them for a bit. I'm curious about what blueprints we'll get. We'll fish once or twice. All right, we lost 69 Marines. Maybe I don't want to get too much Ion Pulsar. Yeah, screw that. We're invading. Apparently we can't invade until tomorrow, but we're invading. Do, 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 do. You know, I probably should have left some forces there to stop the rebellion, but it's fine. Um, military options. Let's just, let's just go ahead and invade. All right, here we go. It's another one here. Um, were we already... We were already... Okay, we're invading the other one. That's fine. Surface battle. Y'all aren't even trying here. But let's count the clicks. One, two, three, four, five. So that's six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen. 15 we know it's going to be 20 but this is one of the challenges of design for stuff is that how do you make it so that it works and that the player doesn't accidentally whoopsie all of their stuff out of here we'll put another company in the spaceport because that seems like a good move all right we have all these other abilities and stuff here too that require story points if you may have noticed i don't have a lot of story points so hey brighton do you want this hunk of fireball uh okay the pirates I like that brighton is gonna attempt to invade karkataka again what are you what are y'all thinking brighton you really think you can do that um somewhat weak one fleet yeah i'm not i'm not gonna waste my time with that but yeah there's there's one win for us and we're going to go ahead and repair our ships. Grab our friends out of storage. Here we go. Some food and ores. Bread and surf circuses. Look at how terrible. Look at how terrible this colony is. You know who wants it? We don't want to accidentally leave it. Ooh, let's not hit the wrong button here. So, uh, ooh, we have some officers available for hire. We can't actually hire you, even though you're reckless with helmsmanship. That would be nice. Portmaster transfers to another faction. I know people are like, stop, stop holding on to these dreams here, but I'm not letting my dreams be dreams. Hey, what do you know? Rebellion. Rebellion over liberated by the United Pomad. Well, you jerks. If that's what you want to call it and that stops the rebellion, then that's that's fine. Okay? Special functions invite you guys. And there we go. We have a giant bloated alliance once more. Here we go. Four members, 127 markets. We should be able to destroy everybody else if we could just work together. They all get along with me. But who knows what that means. And once again, 
Why can we only trade on the black market? Probably because my beacon is... Let's change that. I love that on the black market I could still make this work. So, sell you. I love that I'm selling into excess stockpiles, but it's not like we're planning on taking the stuff with us anyway. So, this is all this is all surplusage. They don't even have any marines for some reason. So congratulations, you have stuff. Good luck. Recent unrest, 10 stability down, hopefully. Well, if it becomes to civilize, let's not forget that somebody settled on a hot volcano. Okay, so we can turn off our beacon here in a second. You guys better run. Invasion of Shero, interesting. It's almost like the Kingdom of Terror and Reuter Union are the two people that are kind of dumb here. So we're here right now. They really don't like us. Um, they want me to deal with stuff here. We can engage the defenders. There's not even a space station here. Colony info. This is also 250. This is also rich ore deposits. It almost seems like you all are just colonizing hell planets. And then wondering, wondering what in the world, what in the world happened. Okay. An orbital station interfering fleets. Well, we'll engage the defenders here. There's like five of them. Okay, we don't even need it. We don't even need the big guns. We just need, we just need a few. This is probably too many. That's fine. Free for all. It's all good. I said we should be. These guys are pretty fast, but we are way scarier. So once again, that's a Rosenritter thing with all the little missile-looking things that shoot lasers. I, I remember a few episodes I laughed because I thought somebody fired a missile and then it plinked off of one of my ships and died. Turns out it was actually something one of my ships fired and it plinked and died. So let's see if I can take out that little squadron of fighters. Definitely, definitely a good way to uh, cook somebody. Okay. Not bad, not bad. All right, ship recovery. Do we even care? No. Look at all this wreckage. We got a valuable prisoner. Thanks, y'all. Um, you have more defenders? Cool, I guess. Let's send even more ships, and I'll even send my ship again, whatever. It's going to be our planet in a minute anyway, so y'all can defend as much as you want, I guess. Lobster magnet. What do you need? Well, I need I need uh, um, Cyanation to not be stupid. Okay. Oh, I actually almost got a hit there. Right now we're just cooking, cooking ships. I love I love the Lamprey. It's such a it's such a good ship. I just suck at piloting it. But it packs so much in for being being a uh, two deployment points. Wow, I am not doing good. Okay. Did we kill him? You bet we killed him. What do you mean I didn't send 16 battle cruisers to kill him? Okay, continue, pick through the wreckage. I wonder if Cyanation hates us yet. Um, yeah, they do. Cool. Okay. Um, no reason to orbitally bombard. Let's just invade. They don't even have defenses. Oh, that's the wrong thing. We're so busy invading, we forget what the invasion screen looks like. Now they do have defenses. Not many defenses. But we'll just do the clickies again. 
We don't need to deploy everybody, we just need to deploy enough. Y'all have a patrol HQ, you should have seen me coming. Okay, this should be, this should be plenty. Alright. So we're gonna need to get a few more Marines. Um, Alliance versus these guys. War between Desalt and the Hegemony. I mean, that wrecks my Reuter reputation anyway, but this is fine. Let's see what our let's and I do want to see what the relationship with that move the needle. Yeah, we're we're hostile now, but maybe if we make peace it's fine. Wow, they survived a turn. I was not expecting that. Alright. Why am I Okay, this is this is dumb. Not dumb dumb, but I know there's an important tab here, but when everything is labeled as important nothing is nothing is important but yeah brighton is invading from all the way over here we'll just we'll just defeat him in orbit it's fine um who survived six i knew i should have threw a second squad at the spaceport all right okay we are going through massive repairs right now for just a few more days so we're going to need to do another resupply here well, I was thinking about passing this on to um, somebody else, but who needs who needs our love the most? Desalt is friendly and solidly friendly. We need to give this to the Pomad as well, then. Unless Shadow Yards are ride are ride or die Shadow Yards. That's what we want. Okay, so repair ships again. So overall, can cannot complain here. But we are going to need some marines and we're going to need some supplies. So, same exploitation tactics. Go. Open the comm directory. And we're going to transfer this faction once again to these guys. You will be my friend. You will take these shitty planets. Maybe, maybe that's why they keep leaving the alliance. It's like, our spoils are spoiled. But truth be told, um... If you really want ores, this is this is a good spot. In fact, I have some ores to sell right here, right now. Enjoy. Okay, anything on the black market? There's a little bit on the black market. Um, but yeah, their stability is already three, so I guess they got liberated by the POMED too. Must be nice. Okay, so... Once again, our doctrine is to take over these places, but not necessarily run them. We have some Reuter mining fleets here. This is interesting. We could totally build a few planets here if we wanted to. Speaking of mining. Okay, we are flying through destroying Psy Nation. I think it is going to be really good here if I... <sighs> let's, let's, do, let's do a quick... Do we have a beacon here? We do. Um, who has cheap supplies that's close by that isn't hostile? That's a negative Ghost Rider. Okay. Well, there is a pirate place that's an orbital station over here. I'm just trying to look. Yeah, we can just pop in there. I'm going to try to resupply that way. And then we're going to take on um, Psy Nation's other big planet. And see how that goes. Um, but yeah, we're just constantly at war, so no wonder our accessibility is an issue. Um, love that the Ludics here are just kind of weirded out by us. So, yeah, well, um, everybody's got to clean up their houses a little bit, I guess. This takes us straight through the big old nebula. So we may as well go here first. And then Mikal's world. There's a faction directory when you stop at planets. That is... That is space garbage. Okay. Well, that's nice. From Alzon to Karkataka for a relief fleet. 
and um, we're all fighting the rebellions right now. It's fine. I just pass it on to other factions, so it's not my problem. I want humanity to do the best that it can. If you remember my first Star Sector series on this channel, that was a long form one. Our faction name was Humanity's Trash, and while things haven't necessarily changed, oh wow, they're going after Big Pink, fun. Um, while things haven't necessarily changed, the goal is to try to help people be a little better. Okay, we want to be in here and we want to be ID'd, because um, first off, the hegemony is not going to mess with us. These things are little. Let's see what this port's like. So repair ships. We don't have a ton of supplies. And unfortunately, they don't either. Okay. Could always try to raid them for supplies. That doesn't seem like the best move. But 1600 is a start. What's our relationship with the Reparation Society? It's neutral. So we could potentially do a little bit better here. And by the way, the faction directory, this is what I want. Um, Cyanation has three more markets. Azad, oh, I forgot about Azad. Okay. Well, we are, you know, what's really nice about Azad, and if it sounds like I'm very familiar with that planet, it's because I am. Um, what's very, what's very nice about Azad is that it's not here, it's up here. It's the one little blight in the, um, Kingdom of Terra system. And how does Kingdom of Terra feel about Cyanation? Of course they love each other. Some, someone literally comes in and takes one of your key military planets and you're like, game recognized game. Well, that's what I've been saying all this time. So it's cool, I guess. Not bitter at all. Um, let's go up here to the Reparation Society and see if, like, you know, the alternative is to raid one of these places. Before we go, I did say I needed Marines as well. Um, and Shero is now property of Kingdom of Terra. Okay. Not a not a lot of marines here, so this pirate base is kind of hanging on by a thread. Maybe the Reparation Society will have a little more to do or say here. Conquest mission. I think we're looking at the wrong angle here. Um, conquer the star system held by the hegemony. Yeah, we do want that. So that's going to be... If you will pay us to do the things we were already going to do, yes, please. I will, I will take that money. And weirdly, I'll have the bank say to me, we won't accept your money, and then we will take over the bank. So here we go. Big raid failed, it's fine. Discover the museum ship? Oh, that, okay. Well, let's go here. This is a scary planet. Let's take a... a I want to take a look at the colony info real quick. So this is rating 100, pretty good defenses. Low tech star fortress is a little surprising here. They got a lot of stuff, but and some pretty good stability and access. Colony size seven and all that. Fortunately, they do have they do have the other goods that we need. Um, 30 fuel for those unit prices doesn't really matter as much. You don't have they don't have as many marines as I was hoping for. We're not I don't think we need to buy that much fuel. We do want to buy that much supplies though, for sure. I will take 4000 supplies at that price. We have this money, damn it, let's use it. All right, while we're here, can we get to favorable with the reparation society? I know I know I shouldn't. I know I shouldn't. Because once again, if we check the freaking alliances tab, I'm pretty sure I know who the Reparation Society is friends with. But, but right now we're here. They only have two markets, so they're they're probably amenable to something else. Um, okay, I didn't actually buy Marines. We do need Marines here. So you see that does drop our rank just a little bit, but I do need a refresh on Marines, so it's fine. And now that we're making profit every turn, I can start making moves like this. Um, interesting. 
You know, it's funny, I'm kind of making my own demand for this shit. So if we go to the black market here, 426, that's going to be one of the lower prices I can get for now. So let's do that. Let's let's do let's do some casual war profiteering. It's totally fine when it's our war and it's justified, right? Um, Macau's world. Let's go. Now, remember, we punched some stuff in the Lilith system before. Wherever, wherever it is. There we go. That's why we have demand there. So those, those could be good. And since we didn't buy weapons off the black market, I don't think we're going to have... See, look, we're making, we're making cash back. We have supplies, we have marines, we have whatever this is. Look at... We're raiding! I'm sure you are. Okay, and relations with the Reparation Society has improved. Um, yeah, because of trade. Who knew? It's like basic playing of the game. Um, nice. DeSalt doing some work for me here. Um, let's see. All right, so McCall's world. We should have time for that. This isn't it, is it? It is! Oh, we made it so fast. Now, was it this one that used to belong... One of these used to belong to Brighton. But it doesn't matter, because we're, we're going to go to this place. Let's do this now. And you guys can just fight out here. It's cool. I also didn't have a lot of weapons for me to actually launch shit down here. So, hey, I think that's one of ours. Probably actually is. Sigheart, are you already over here? Um, we have so much news. It's hard to say. Okay, well. Anyway, that's definitely one of ours. But we're here, so. Psy Nation. This used to belong to Shadow Yards, so I should get a DKP bonus if I pass it back to Shadow Yards. The issue, of course, is that I don't need rep with the Shadow Yards. But let's be honest here. Um, I, I'd rather just give a planet back to its original owner just for stability purposes. Okay, let's at least fight the station. And they've got some other ships here. It's fine. Okay, engage, battle station. If we launch a raid, we could go for blueprints again. Because they have modular fabricators. But I, I'm i kind of dissatisfied with what I got before. We don't... Cynation blueprints are not anything I'm really interested in at this point. So let's punch a battle station in the face. And this time, we're going to do a line of five. We're going to put you in the middle. I'm going to put you over here. Now, the fun thing about the Beamer is that it should be able to engage whatever. And we're going to give you all some time to move up. Just a little bit of time. All we need is time. I love the Onslaught's penchant for uh, doing stuff here. And how much did I just screw myself? Because that's a, that's a lot of fire. Once again, that is a Shadow Yard station. Cannot take that lightly. So we're not going to. Okay. All frigates all the time. We got our heavies and we got our um, little bros here. Seems okay. Lots of, lots of carrier craft and strike craft and stuff, but it's fine. So we're... We are running into support, and we're going to do heavy support on you and heavy support on you and try to not have the lanes clogged here by these three ships going in the same direction. In fact, I'm going to have the beamer, the bream itself, go over this way. So engage, space peeps. So it's, it's, it's kind of interesting because it's been a lot of the same fight that we've been having this episode, but um, if I can punch out an actual faction, that would be lovely. You can see here, now we have everybody just kind of joining in the scrum. Where's our, where's our actual space station? 
<sighs> we actually did click on it correctly. Okay. Let's have you target this. That'd be fun. One-on-one -on -one auto battles. And we're just going to hug our other things up here. Because the um, Star Eater does have a tendency to get in the um, line of fire of other things here. And I probably shouldn't... So it's really interesting, the shooting star thing. Okay, there we go. This is this is the kind of engagement we want. Granted, preferably, look at look at all that. Oh my god, I gotta look at the combat log after this. Okay, that was not ideal. I saw that at the last possible second. Um, okay, not the last possible second, but the snowstorm getting disabled and the wingless pigeon getting eaten in its wake because I didn't have my shields pointed in the right direction and its explosion killed me. It's fine. Everything is fine. This is why we have excess crew for stuff. Let's bring out some, uh, let's bring out our dad here. All right. Okie doke. We're gonna transfer command over here because I never, upgraded or added in the things that lets me automatically do that. But that's what I'm saying is that this station, you cannot take it lightly. And what this means is that I put that in kind of a, in not a position to succeed, which is unfortunate because the snowstorm is a really good ship, except that it has one little quirk. If you remember, it's that occasionally when it's using its weapons, it will get um, over overloaded. And I guess when you have some of the heavy ass weaponry from the space station like right here we have we have some more garbage here this is this is where am i really about to die twice here from other ships exploding let's back this up and you need you need to retreat directly i'm actually going to have you retreat as well and this is this is what i was saying before is that we um Sometimes just got to deal with what we deal with. Like, you guys are okay. Let's get you back on here now. And then once we get some of that shit out of there, we can do... We want it, We can give it some more, because right now, some of our ships are doing great, and some of our ships are getting absolutely slaughtered. Remember, I built a Shadow Yard sh uh, station in one of my places in the home world, so that's a that's a plus. It means we have some of these defenses at home. Oh good. You're trying to do something clever and get out of here. So we gotta we gotta bust this up. Okay, Backstreet's back is disabled again. At this point we knew it was coming. The Star Skipper has been disabled, so that's a that's a little bit of a problem. But we need we need to bring in some smaller targets, is what it is. Because it's it's what some of these guns can do, absolutely murdering us. Which all that means is that I need to be putting some more of these the Shadow Yards gear to work. So there is our, uh, oh my gosh, you're actually in trouble too. Let's get you, let's get you out before you die. Um, can we put you guys on the space station too? We just need to give it more targets at this point. So why don't we send more junker ships? But this is what I'm talking about. Some of the fights that we're going to have later on, whether it's some bigger bounties, and we're already later on in the save, let's be real here. Um, some of the shit we're going to have to deal with is going to involve me just having a lot of extra ships that I can throw around. And right now, the corpse of the Star Eater, or Star Skipper, or Star, or the Snowstorm is currently protecting us from stuff. So this is, this is just the name of the game a little bit right now, is that we do have a bit of an attrition fight. 
Psy Nation does not deserve to have this, is what you're telling me. So I am going to give this back to Shadow Yards, even though there isn't a uh, reputation gain to be had, just because it doesn't seem appropriate to give this to another allied faction. I hope that makes sense. There's, there's some min-maxing that obviously I've been doing so far this run playthrough even though I'm not much of a min-maxer at all, but sometimes you just gotta do what feels right. Okay, is this seriously... We're just, we're just chasing stragglers now? Okay. Like, let's not forget, Cyanation stuff is not anything to joke around with, so... But we do know that the Neiman is one of those ships that can totally try to crack and try to fight here. Because Bobby B kept it alive. And it didn't actually get destroyed here. But yeah, that's um, that's some pretty decent carnage. Well, hopefully the Star Skipper doesn't get any more demods here. Can we recover? Oh, good. It's all standard recovery. Um, do I want a second one is one of my questions. And look, we're still okay on crew. We won't be if we take that. I'm going to take both of those. Alright, pick through the wreckage. And we have even more experience and stuff. Um, let's consider an orbital bombardment for a tactical bombardment. That's fine. And I want to look back here for a second because we're, we're lighting the planet on fire. We are under crew strength right now, but we're, we, can, we can fix that in a hurry by mothballing and mothballing. It doesn't look like you have much equipped right now, but yeah, the large universals are good there. So these are all, these are all very stripped down. But things we have seen before, so we have, we have taken this on. I am going to go ahead and um, call this an episode here. We do have McCall's World that I am just going to very briefly start the invasion for. Um, consider military options. First off, let's look at the colony info. Their defenses are 210 now, and all of their shit's disabled. We're, we're just going to invade. They have pretty good strength. So let's go ahead and look back here. This is why we got, this is why we got more shit. So see, this is what I'm talking about. We have people over here that I can just deploy all over the place. Honestly, none of them can pull up enough to do this. So I am, it's, it's going to make it run a little long, but I am going to go ahead and just do this. This is a lot of supplies to actually deploy here. I'm glad I got extra. All right. But like we should be able to just put one set of forces down there. We could split these up. So the mega port is where um, where it's at. Got two turntables and something else. And then um, the modular fabricators, which some of y'all in the comments section are huge fans of, and I have not been making as good of use of them. That's fine. And then we're going to split this group. And then let's take for a second here. Can we not deploy this turn because we split them up? Okay, maybe I can, maybe I can't. So one in the mining and one in the military base. You'd think they would have more in the military base here out of movement points. So we can't do that till next turn anyway. Okay, but anyway, this is, this is how you do it. It's not Friday night yet. Uh, feels all right on the west side, I guess. All right. Okay, so let's not accidentally run too far away. We lost three heavy armaments. I guess we're accidentally dropping heavy armaments here. So let's um, do this correctly. Boop, boop, boop. Surface battle. You know, I should know which one is the surface battle I'm currently doing. But see, here we go. They're, they don't really have anywhere to like run or move to right now. Um... But one of the other things that does turn into a game of whack-a-mole is that you'll have, like, if you want to take on another group of people, they'll, like, send, like, two people to a place that you don't have taken over. 
Uh, military base. I thought I dropped off more people there. I guess we actually did have a somewhat of a problem. Okay. Um, okay, well, I guess... If we go the ground defenses here. I guess we're still out of movement points for some weird reason. Okay, I don't I don't know how this system works. Okay, turn two. And once again, it would be really nice if it would just remember where I was at and go right back to this. So surface battle new. Now we have movement points. Now we can drop this in. We probably only lost some people because of the military points here, but military base. And that should that should do it within the next turn. Like we have these numbers here for morale. We don't we don't this fight isn't close enough to worry about it at this point. But now this is all just experience for us. And really everybody likes it, but the hegemony wants to invade us because why? Huh. Okay, that's weird. Anyway, we're here. And we're going to repair. That's actually a pretty hefty repair bill. Um, what's in storage here? So many marines. So many weapons. So much of this shit. Alright. So once again, this this is ours. Until it's not. It's not the best colony in the world. It's not the worst colony either, though. But more importantly, this colony originally belonged to Shadow Yards. So if we go to the station commander here, if we transfer it back to Shadow Yards, gotta remember my alphabet here. Do we get a modifier here for doing this? Maybe. I mean, they already liked it, so we only got something up by one. But now it is a proper Shadow Yards place here. So that's good. Oh my god, so much on the black market. And you guys don't need weapons like maybe a few other places do. Fearsome Engine apparently wants weapons. That's fun. Well, let's sell this shit on the open market just to be legit. And I'm going to call this an episode. So this is Asher. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this romp through Psy Nation. Like I said, we are at the point now where we should absolutely be able to smack around some of the AI. So it does feel good to put some of that into practice. So we're going to sell some of our weapons, although they do technically help us with um, sending sending people over to um, their deaths. That is a little bit of cash that we can get on hand. But yeah, now that money's not an issue, we can just fly around and start screwing up people. So that's it for now. We have invasions coming. Actually, a very strong invasion from one of these planets. So we may have to go home and play defense before we go back, but honestly, if we have, um, it's assembling in 42 days. So we can't actually, we don't have any option to delay that here. I'm not really worried about this one. This one we'll probably have to do here. So I guess at this point, we just take out Azad. I was thinking about leaving Sumatra up, but we're going to take out uh, Sumatra as well. And uh, we're going to just... We're just going to make the sector a better place. This is Asher. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll do this again soon. You all take care.